I really like being close to the water for some reason. Being able to watch this image float, I don't know, it seemed to trigger so many memories. I think that was the beginning. Most of the images are of uh, nature, and I think in nature you see your mortality, things blooming and living and dying. We're all connected in some way to our ancestors to, uh, to be able to share spirit with one another and our intellect and memory. I associate the project with my grandmother because of the fact that it was so familiar to my memory of her and fabric. She was a seamstress. When I first began Couturier Dreams, I was looking for a new medium in photography to express some things, and I was always fascinated with emulsion transfers since developing this project, I have had to research a lot of the history of my grandmother, which I didn't have before. There was an image that I found. It was a photograph of my grandmother walking down the boardwalk in Atlantic City with my father, who was 10 years old, and she had this wild outfit on for 1942. The patterns were wild and they were of nature, and uh, when I found that picture, things started making sense to me. The technical aspect of emulsion transfer is to take a slide, project the, the slide onto Polaroid film, and at a certain temperature, you um, place the film inside the electric skillet and you wait for it to bubble up. It's such a fragile process. Get just another second or two. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just so beautiful and delicate. I allowed myself to look at this process very differently than anyone has ever used it. I decided instead of projecting this image as it naturally was, uh, to do something entirely different with it. Generally, these take very long, some as long as uh, five and six hours.
It's a very tedious and uh, delicate process because the emulsion is a very, very thin skin and uh, of course it tears very easily, but through those tears a lot of other gifts are given to you. The relationship that I drew to this project and my grandmother was blood memory. It was like, why am I doing these? What is going on? And, uh, and that's what I felt. The book is dedicated to my grandmother. She was sitting on her porch one day and she was unaware of me being there. And I was able to just get this great photograph and this image was taken when she was six years old. It's her hands that are so powerful and wonderful. And these hands created so many things in life that were beautiful, you know, for her family. And I think that I got that, you know, to be able to use my hands. I think that definitely she passed that on to me, and I'm very grateful.